Welcome to this video. I hope that it will be of help and put your mind at rest. We are currently at the stage of a catacetony growing a new growth. Whether you have roots in the pot or you take off all the roots when you repot your catacetony, it makes no difference because you have not been watering for the past maybe four months three months, whatever the case may be, but your catacetone is growing a new growth or if you have several new growths, even better. So at this stage, we are still not watering because the rule of thumb is the new growth that is developing needs to be at least leafed out to the top of the biggest pseudobulb. That would also indicate that roots are going into the pot. And we want to be able to push that not watering for as long as possible. But then you see your bulbs starting to shrivel, specifically the back, the oldest bulbs will start to shrivel. And you're not supposed to water, so there could be a little thing of panic kicking in. And I wanna put your mind at rest because do not water. Look at the condition of the bulb where the growth is coming out of or the growths are coming out of. A slight shriveling and decline of the plumpness of any pseudobulb is not a big deal when it comes to catacetinae. For catacetinae that are recently repotted, that get repotted every single year, the biggest mistake would be to think that you can now water even if your roots are already somewhat in the pot. Hold off. Don't do it you might ruin the rest of the progress of your catacetinae. There's plenty, plenty of energy in those bulbs to do what the catacetinae is doing if it has no roots. Now, if you are in a similar situation as I normally am, because I don't repot my catacetinae on a yearly basis, then you do have roots in the pot and they are to some degree still alive. Even though you haven't watered for months, they will respond to a little bit of water and that is where you can intervene and give a little bit of water to your catacetinae so that the back bulbs will plump up again. If you are in a self-watering system like mine, all I used to do was put a little bit of water in the reservoir. I did not fill the whole reservoir, this was just to give the back bulbs a little, little something so that they can sustain themselves. This is not to be confused with a full watering and starting the watering season for your catacetinae. This is just a little bit of help if you have roots in the pot and are not repotting your catacetinae on a yearly basis. But in the situation of this catacetinae, the circumstances are such it's just been repotted and we find ourselves with a shriveling pseudobulb. We have no roots in the pot I just want to put your mind at rest. There is no need to panic. This is all very, very normal. And once you water your catacetinae again, usually those shriveled bulbs in the back will start to plump up again. Once the new growth and the second bulb behind that get what they need, it all trickles back towards the back part of the catacetinae. The bulbs will plump up again if they are big and juicy from the start. If you have little seedling bulbs that you're seeing shrivel, those may or may not plump up again, but that's okay because you've got the rest of the catacetinae with the bulbs as storage organs and seedling bulbs will deplete at some point in time. So if you see your bulbs starting to shrivel in the back, you have no roots in the pot, don't worry. It's gonna be okay. You see your bulbs shriveling in the back and you have roots in the pot, give a very conservative trickle of water, just enough maybe to wet the media and then leave it be. The main focus of catacetinae at this point in time, growing new growths, is to make sure that we take care of what the new growth needs and the back bulbs will respond accordingly because they are also focusing on the new growth. So I hope I put your mind at rest if you were having some qualms about what was happening with your catacetinae. And if there are still some more details that you would like to discuss, leave them in the comments and we can talk about a case by case basis. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate your time. Have yourself a beautiful day. On one condition though, please, that you stay safe. Take care. Bye.